Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross video on determining the area of a triangle formed by a tangent to a circle. Let's read the question. A circle has equation x squared plus y squared equals 100, so this circle here. A is the point on the circle with coordinates minus 6, 8. A tangent to the circle, this line here, at A, this point here, intersects the x-axis at the point B, so here. Work out the area of the triangle O, A, B. So if we draw a line from O to A, it's O, A, B, so it's the area of this triangle here. Now out of these three coordinates, the only one we don't know is the point B. And this is the x-intercept of this uh, line, which is a tangent to the circle. And we saw how to do that in the previous video, how to find the x-intercept or y-intercept of a tangent circle. So step one was just find the equation of the tangent. And I do that quickly only because we've done this a number of times before in the previous videos. Do you remember we first find the gradient of the radius, so the gradient of this radius here. And remember that was at right angles, so it was the right angle here to the tangent to the circle. So the gradient of the radius is just the change in the y value over the change in the x value. So it's a change in y over the change in the x value. Now, if this is the point 0, 0, the change in the y value from 0 to 8 is just 8, and the change in the x value from 0 to minus 6 is just minus 6. And if I simplify that, that's uh, minus 4 thirds. I'm just going to put the minus on the front of the fraction instead of inside because positive divided by negative is negative. And then the gradient, therefore, of this tangent is the negative reciprocal because it's perpendicular to that. So the gradient of the tangent is the negative reciprocal. So if I negate this, it then becomes positive. And the reciprocal of this fraction, we just flip it upside down, is 3 quarters. And then we just say, well, if y equals mx plus c is the equation of a straight line, we know that this line has this gradient and it goes through the point a, which is minus 6, 8. So that's our fixed point on the line, that's our gradient. Let's just shove everything into this equation to work out what the y-intercept is, the c. So we've got y, which for this point is 8, equals m, which is 3 quarters, times by the x value, which is minus 6, plus c, and 8 is equal to 3 quarters times minus 6, which is minus 18 over 4, plus c, and that gives you c is equal to, I'm just going to do 8 plus c 18 over 4, is 25 over 2. So we now know the equation of this line here. It's y equals uh, mx, we know the gradient is 3 quarters, mx plus c, and we know the c is 25 over 2. Remember, it's an equation of a line. We still have to leave x and y as variables, otherwise you couldn't get different points on the line. So we've done step one. Um, now we need to um, find the point B. So step two, if you want to find the x-intercept, you make y zero. However, if this point was actually on the y-axis, then you make x zero instead. But here we're making y zero. So if we make y zero in this equation, zero equals three quarters x plus 25 over two. I'm going to just times everything by 4, so 0 equals 3x, because if you times that by 4, it gets rid of the over 4. If you times that by 4, you can times by 2 to get rid of that, and then 2 again, so it's this. And that gives you x is, well, if we subtract the 50, we get minus 50 over that 3, so it's minus 50 over 3. So now we've got the coordinate of b. It's um, minus 50 over 3, and the y value here is obviously 0. So we've got that point, we've got that point, we've got that point. Now step 3 is we get the area of the triangle. It's the area of the triangle. Now, if we think about it, we've got this triangle here. And we could, if we wanted to, make that the base and that the perpendicular height. But it's quite hard to find this length here and this length here. We'd have to use Pythagoras. It'd be easier to use that as the base and that as the perpendicular height. Now, let's think from the diagram what these are. Now, this height here, well, we can see that that y value here is 8. So that height must be 8 because it's 8 above the x-axis here. And this base here... If we look here, it's the distance between here and here, B 
and the origin, we can see because that x value is minus 50 over 3, that width there must be 50 over 3. So we've got 50 over 3. So that then just gives us the area of, remember the area of a triangle is half times base times height, so half times the base of 50 over 3 times by the height of 8. And if I just put that in my calculator, that gives me 200 over 3, and because it's um, area and we don't have a unit, I'm just going to write units squared. And that is the final answer.